Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. Nope, you don't see me in front of the camera like usual because I've been restructuring my little studio area. It's gonna be sweet here in a week or so. Uh, but anyhow, this uh, this is a very, very quick tutorial that uh, you know, somebody was having trouble or trying to figure out how you would switch themes in Angular Material. And I thought, you know what? I might as well do it now. I wanted to get a video out today. I've been really busy. And this is gonna be real quick. And it's also going to require that you follow the previous Angular material video that I did from two or three days ago. I'll link it in the description if I can remember here in YouTube. So we're gonna be using that same project. We're not gonna be starting from scratch. <clears throat> All right, so to do this, what we're gonna do, instead of having like four options, I wanted to make it more simple. It's just gonna be a button that you click and it will toggle on between two different Angular material themes. All right, so let's come down here. This is a project that we worked with before called uh, Custom Theme. I'm gonna go to my source and we're gonna go to the app component HTML. All right, so this is the HTML that we were working with before. So just here in the middle, I'm going to put in um, some HTML here. Section class equals, we'll make example hyphen section. And then we're gonna put a button with a click event. And this will be change theme. And we're going to say Matt raised button color equals primary. And we'll see how that will change once this is clicked. All right. So that's good there. Next, we're going to have a little bit of CSS for this example section right there. So, oh, I already have it there. So basically, we just have a display of flex and line content items, blah, blah, blah. Um, height is 60, background color. And you're just giving it some styling so it doesn't look like garbage. And as we could see here in the browser, make sure, by the way, you have ng-serve running in your console. You can see we have localhost 4200. This is our current theme. This is our button, which won't work just yet. All right, so coming back, we're going to go to our app component, and we're going to put in just a bit of TypeScript. Well, before we do that, though, I want to go back to our template. Um, we actually have to update this part. We're going to use class binding. All right, because that's the way you change between themes, but we need it to be dynamic. So thus, we're going to use class binding. So the way we do that is we simply put in brackets is class, and then we reference the name of the class alternative. All right, and then we put, we bind it to the, let's see here, a property that we're going to create momentarily called other themes. It's going to be a Boolean, which is either going to be true or false. That's how we'll toggle back and forth. So go ahead and save that. And before I get back to the component, let's check out real quickly our theme. This is what we worked with uh, in the previous tutorial. So up here is our main custom theme that we created. Right here is the alternative theme. All right, so just thought I would show that real quick as a refresher. All right, so now in here, we're going to put in other theme and it's gonna be a Boolean and we're gonna make it false by default. And then we create the class change theme. And we'll just simply say this dot other theme equals this dot other theme. And that will toggle back and forth between that Boolean. All right, so let's see if this works. With any luck, it will. All right, so here we go. Let's click it. Okay. This main top bar is not working because I forgot in our theme real quickly. I'm using from the previous lesson, I was showing how to, to only change a the theme for a specific component like a button. If we wanted to change the whole thing, which I do in this case, we'll make that change right there. Angular material theme mix in. All right, so now if I click this, everything changes. So how would you switch between like night and dark, for instance? Uh, for the dark theme, because right now we're using the dark theme. Well, let's go back, and we'll take a look at here. They're both using the dark theme. So let's make this one light. So by default, it's going to start off on a light theme. As we can see here, it changed it to light. Look at that. So it's changing multiple things, uh, the custom colors and also the theme right here. Now, of course, you could also update this in such a way that allows you to select multiple themes, in which case you wouldn't use a toggle. Um, you would basically restructure 
your component class down here and just a few other adjustments based on what you're doing. But that's how to do a simple toggle-based one. Um, really, what it would take to change between multiple themes, uh, if you know basic JavaScript, you should be able to figure this out relatively easily. All right, so uh, big things coming up here for uh, the channel and, and the site, uh, Corset Show. I'm going to be uh, making a couple announcements, and it's all good stuff, of course. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys very soon.